There are several ways that you can narrate a PowerPoint presentation, uh, like the presentation that I'm giving now. Uh, probably the easiest way is to use the tools that are built right into PowerPoint. If you go to the Slide tab, under the Slide tab you'll see that there is a Record Slideshow. If you click on that, it'll drop down some options, one of which is just starting right from the beginning and narrating a whole presentation. Uh, I want to do a demonstration of this. Uh, you're actually watching a PowerPoint. I'm going to exit out of uh, the di display of the PowerPoint, and I'm going to go to uh, the fifth slide here, and I have a sequence of slides which simply state the mission of the University of Finley. And I'm going to narrate these using the built-in tools within uh, a PowerPoint. So I'm going to start recording not from the beginning, but from the current slide. I'm on the fifth slide. I don't want to go back to the beginning. I just want to start right with this uh, current slide. When I click on this uh, button, I, I get this uh, little notification that lets me start the recording. But I want to come back and explain this later. It says I can use slide and animation timings and narrations and laser pointer. Uh, the narration laser pointer, I can use the, the pointer tool built into PowerPoint and it shows up uh, uh, on my presentation. Uh, the slide and animation timings, I'll explain uh, when I get to those. I'll come back to that and show you exactly what those are in a second. For now, uh, let me just narrate this. So here is the mission of the University of Finley. Uh, I'm using the uh, normal uh, advanced slide tools. I can just hit the right slide button. The mission of the University of Finley is to equip our students for meaningful lives and productive careers. Now when I'm finished with this, I can just hit the uh, escape key, and that will end my narration uh, and take me back to uh, my PowerPoint presentation. Now I don't know if you heard, but in the middle of one of these slides, my telephone rang, and uh, I, I have some noise in there I don't want in there. If I were to go back and uh, listen to these, you'll, you should be able to hear so you can hear my narration with this. I used the little intro. I talked a little bit more about what I was doing instead of just reading the mission. So there's my uh, whole presentation. Uh, you may have heard it was faint in the background on that second slide that uh, my, my telephone rang. So what I can do is I can go back just to that one slide and I can start recording from the current slide and only read the contents of that slide. So let's, let's do that. Is to equip our students for meaningful lives Once again, I hit escape, and it took it a little bit to process that. But I should have uh, a new set of narrations, which, uh, uh, of course, minus my telephone ringing. So now I've. Uh, in essence, uh, redid just one slide. Uh, maybe I misspoke in a slide. Uh, maybe I, I've changed the slide and the content needs to be narrated differently. But you can go back just to one slide, redo the slide, uh, and not have to worry about uh, starting at the beginning and doing the whole thing over. Now, I talked a, a little bit about um, the slide timings. I did not record narration on my first few slides, and notice if I go to the Transitions tab, there's uh, this Auto Advance after a certain amount of time is unchecked. In fact, for my first few slides, you'll notice that that's not there, there's nothing there at all. But when I get to a slide that has narration, 
this, uh, apparently I talked for 13.77 seconds. So when you narrate, PowerPoint uh, listens to how long it takes you to say whatever it is, uh, it, whatever is in your narration, and then sets the time for that slide to show to that exact amount of time, and automatically advances to the next slide as soon as that time has elapsed. So I talked for 13.77 seconds, and then it automatically advances to the next slide where I talked for 4.14 seconds, and so on and so on. Now, depending on the version of PowerPoint you're using, you're going to get this little icon whenever you narrate. I always move that icon off the screen. It does nothing to the narration. The narration is still there. Uh, but if it happens, the version of PowerPoint uh, that you're using uh, shows that little icon. Uh, having it off the screen uh, gets rid of one little distraction. So uh, if I were to view these again, my narration still works, but I've moved that little icon off the screen. Now, if you were to take the slide, uh, uh, the narrated slide deck that I just created, and upload it to a site like SlideShare, uh, notice it shows that little icon on the desktop. So when I uploaded this, I had not moved that off the desktop. Um, more importantly, uh, there is no narration. Uh, SlideShare is great if you just want to share some slides with people so you can see what they look like. But it does not uh, handle animations, transitions, or narrations. On the other hand, if you go out to a site like SlideBoom, which is pretty much like uh, SlideShare, it's a, another free slide sharing site, um, I can go through uh, the first couple slides that I, that I showed you. And then you can hear my narration. And it automatically advances each one of the slides after the timing that's built in by the narration. So that's uh, a, another option you have uh, if you want to have an online presentation which includes animations, transitions, and narrations. Now, you might have noticed that uh, the whole time here, I have been uh, using actually a couple different programs to uh, demonstrate all these things in PowerPoint. I'm not just showing you a PowerPoint. And that's because I'm using a screen capture utility, something called uh, Cam Studio. And it is recording my screen right now. You can see it's recording a 1024 by 768 window. Uh, and it's making a movie out of this entire, uh, everything I'm talking about, including uh, my narrations, is just making a screen capture movie. Now, if you want to do a PowerPoint and narrate the PowerPoint, you can go into Slideshow Setup and tell your PowerPoint to be browsed by an individual window. When you do that, uh, I'm capturing just uh, the middle of my screen right here. Um, when you do that, it will allow you to uh, adjust the, your PowerPoint window however big you want, and you can go through your PowerPoint uh, just exactly. This is a, now I'm back into my PowerPoint uh, presentation. I can record my PowerPoint with my narration, and it makes a movie. Now you might say, well, how do I go back and, and change my narration on a slide? Well, if you have a movie, you could, once the movie is finished, take that movie, put it into the uh, video editor of your choice, and if you need to redo one slide, just go back to that one slide, re-record the one slide, and then take that one slide and insert it into the middle of your movie. Just like you've done, uh, like, like you would do any other uh, cut, chop out a piece of the movie, insert a new piece of the movie, and uh, no one will be the wiser as far as the continuance uh, in your presentation. So there's a couple ways that you could uh, animate a presentation. This one is on YouTube, so 
you can see that uh, I've used the screen recorder with my PowerPoint uh, as one of the options.